Good morning guys, I hope you're all well. It might not actually be morning when you're watching this, but hello. Um, I am gonna be sharing a food shop. I've just had my Sainsbury's food shop delivered and I thought, why not share it with you guys? Because I have just gotten back into watching these kind of videos. I didn't for a while because I just thought, oh, I'll just get what I fancy and eat what I fancy. But yeah, I'm feeling like I need a bit more inspiration at the moment. So I like watching what other people buy, especially if they talk about their meal plans and stuff. I probably won't, I'll mention like a few things that I make with some of it, but I don't really do meal plans. I'm not that organized, although I've got a little thing here that I could write. I might start doing it, I, might, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna share with you what I got. It's not a particular type of food shop, like vegan, vegetarian, anything like that. I am vegetarian, vegan, as much as I can be, like when I eat out, if there's a vegan option, I'll go for it. I always have dairy-free alternatives, although there are quite a few products here that have got dairy in. Um, and the boys, when they're at home, they're vegetarian, but when they're at school, or nurse or whatever, they will sometimes have the vegetarian option, sometimes have meat. However, when I was doing my food shop last night, Jasper asked me for ham, not the non-meat ham that I normally get him, but he asked for proper ham. So I have got one meaty option here, which I felt really weird putting in my basket because I can't remember the last time I brought meat. I used to get the boys little cocktail sausages, um, but yeah, I just felt a bit like, oh, I don't know about that, but it's his choice if he wants to eat it, so that's absolutely fine. Um, so I had no substitutes today and it came to, let me have a look, I should have looked at this before, 90 pounds and five pence, um, which isn't too bad. It's, there are a few bits here, it's not like a week's worth, there are a few bits that will last longer. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll get into it because I've been waffling for a while. I've tried to make it a bit organized. Okay, so, Starting with the fruit, I got watermelon. Jensen absolutely loves watermelon. He'll just have it as a snack. Um, grapes, they always have cut up grapes on their porridge in the mornings or like if they're having toast for breakfast, they'll have some cut up grapes on the side. I still cut up the grapes for the boys because it just freaks me out otherwise. Bananas, again, cut up on porridge in smoothies. I do a Hulk smoothies. Um, I never buy apples because my dad has loads of apple trees in their garden so he's always bringing us apples but Jensen has recently requested proper oranges like not little easy peeler satsumas proper grown-up oranges so rather than eating little segments I just cut this into like eighths um, and then he like holds it I think they do that at nursery so yeah he was like I want real like big oranges um, lemon because I always have hot water and lemon in the mornings and then I got some avocados for avocado on toast. Broccoli, broccoli is probably one of the only greens that the boys really have. They'll have spinach and stuff in smoothies, but I can always guarantee if I want to get greens into the boys, if I'm doing like corn sausages and chips or whatever, I'll always do, I always try and add broccoli. Um, I got a whole and a half cucumber, just because I think I added the whole and then when it said like, oh, you forgot one of your favorites, there was a half there and I didn't check through which I should have done but they have loads of cucumber sticks although Jensen still doesn't eat the skin which really frustrates me he just like eats out the inside bit but I still give it to him all the time just because I'm thinking hopefully at some point he will and then celery sticks I just really fancied celery sticks with hummus spinach for our Hulk smoothies so I'll put like one banana handful of spinach and then a type of milk kale I've really gotten into, like I've been having this so much recently, so I'll part boil the kale and then I'll fry it with agave nectar, chopped dates and sunflower seeds and it's just amazing on the side or like if I do a huge bowl of it and then just add loads of things like olives, sun-dried tomatoes, maybe some rice and stuff or I have it on the side of like any meal and it's really really delicious because I just feel like I need to be having more greens. And then for the fridge I've got some spinach and ricotta tortellini, which is amazing. We have it all the time because it's just such, I mean, it, it's, it cooks in three minutes. It's really delicious. Obviously, it's got spinach in, so it's nice and healthy. Sometimes I add extra spinach or sweet corn or something like that. And we'll have it with tomato and mascarpone sauce and then garlic bread on the side. I also got corn cocktail sausages for the boys. 
and then like I said ham for Jasper I have been getting the corn one but it's not that he doesn't like it he just said I want the pink one again so yeah that one um and then caramelized onion hummus I've always got hummus in the fridge because I love it some cheese I did have in fact i still got it in the fridge a bag of vegan cheese and the boys just don't like it i like it but yeah the boys say it smells like sick which i mean to be fair it does so <laughs> that for them some coconut yogurt which i love having in the morning with like oats and fruit and dried fruit seeds and stuff on top um some cottage cheese and then this is amazing so i ordered it for the first time with my last food shop and the boys loved it so it's pan fried gnocchi pumpkin gnocchi and it's so nice like to have a little bit on the side with say like corn sausages and vegetables or to make like as a whole gnocchi kind of pasta dish so i've got two of those because they're amazing and then some little beetroot and feta dinky rolls you can have them cold or heat them up Actually, I don't know if you can. I have them cold, but I'm, I think you are supposed to heat them. Um, but they're just nice as like a little snack when I'm working from home. Not so much for the boys, but for me. Um, some eggs, because the boys like their dippy eggs. And I am partial to a poached egg. I didn't have egg for ages when I tr like went vegan for a little while, but I have started having them more. Um, froobs, the boys love a froob. Although my mum did say the other day, they literally, it's like one suck and they're gone. So I should probably start getting them bigger pots of yogurt because sometimes Jensen can have like three of these. Some chocolate filled crepes. These are the ones that you put in the microwave and the little packets. So if we're in a rush in the morning, it's like, I think it's 10 seconds you put them in for. Um, and they're just good for like on the go in the car. Some scotch pancakes as well, which got a little bit crushed. Again, a lovely breakfast and I'd put like some coconut yogurt on and some fruit and dried fruit and stuff like that and then some sweet pancakes as well so three different types of pancake but these ones I saw my friend Liz who has like a nutrition page she shared it that it's a really nice thing to have pancakes ready to go in the morning I know I could make them <laughs> I'm just being a bit lazy um and then have like a bowl of fruit and yogurt and stuff like that and then the boys can decorate it in the morning so it's like decorating pizzas but decorating pancakes in the morning so I'm going to try that tomorrow morning as like a nice Saturday morning treat um some chopped dates which I put in my kale mix and also on top of like porridge and stuff like that and then I got my first mince pies of the year I like some Christmassy cookies as well and milk chocolate malted milk biscuits. We are a big fan of biscuits in this house. A cup of tea and biscuits, especially this time of year. Um, one sheet puff pastry ready rolled. I like it ready rolled because I'm just, I'm not much of a cook. Like I like cooking, but I'm not about like rolling out my own pastry. And I made a really nice thing the other day with, I put pesto on and then like, the rainbow carrots and pumpkin seeds and stuff like that. And it was really, really nice. And had it with a kale mix on the side. Um, and then I've got two lots of Alpro oat milk and two lots of Oatly oat milk. I go through a lot of oat milk. I tend to have that or soy milk or coconut milk. Oat is my favorite though. So I like to have my fridge stocked of it. Some squash for the boys and some orange juice as well. I always try and give them a little cup of orange juice in the mornings just to get some extra vitamin C in them. And then some sun bites. We've started having the honey glazed barbecue ones, which are lovely. Some Thai sweet chili sensation crisps as well, and some crackers. The boys love these, and they'll just have them with like hummus, cream cheese, cucumber sticks, like baby bells, just like a little picky plate. And then snacks for the boys. We've got Barney Bears, fruit paws, serene cakes. These are amazing. The boys really, really love them. I think they're quite healthy. Um, and then some bread, 50-50 some peanuts the boys absolutely love peanuts and so do i so they're always having like a handful of those porridge oats because we just ran out some beans because we love beans on toast as like a quick and easy lunch or tea um again a really easy one pasta sauce pasta and sauce cheese and broccoli so you add milk i always add oat milk or soy milk um and I add in like extra bits of broccoli, sweet corn and stuff like that. And it's just like a nice comforty meal. Uncle Ben's Mexican style rice, just a microwave for one, which quite often I'll have for lunch. And I just put like olives, nuts, kale, spinach, anything like that in. Um, some green pesto, some agave syrup. I like to kind of shake it up 
sometimes we go for maple but I really like agave and then freezer wise I just got some sweet corn and some fishless fingers because the other day I really fancied fish finger sandwiches like just with really nice like buttered bread and ketchup and these are amazing they taste exactly like fish fingers just like the corn chicken nuggets taste exactly like McDonald's chicken nuggets um, and the boys really liked it as well and I just think like I remember having fish finger sandwiches when I was younger it's like a little childhood thing um, so yeah I thought they'd really like that so that's it that's the food that we got I hope that it gave you guys a bit of inspiration or just yeah just some ideas of things to get I like I said I really like seeing what other people buy food wise just to get some ideas because you can get stuck in a rut can't you so yes if you like the video please do give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and thank you for watching